Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting every time you make a, a change, right? There's just going to be, um, you know, things that the league does differently. And, and uh, you know, so we are more comfortable. Uh, it's definitely a, a slowed down, grinded out league. Um, and so, you know, kind of the way that we've recruited, it's, it's changed. You know, we've tried to find guys that can, that can really stretch the floor and, and make teams pay for, for overhelping on defense and, and things of that nature. So, yeah, we're more comfortable. Um, it's a heck of a league, though. And uh, we're excited about uh, year three and uh, like our team a lot. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, our philosophy really recruiting for a long time in the Horizon League was we wanted to be athletic. You know, we wanted to be able to guard, get up and down the floor, um, and maybe sacrifice a little kind of, you know, skill. Um, and and so we've changed that. You know, we want guys really that can, you know, dribble, shoot, and pass, and, and uh, you know, get five guys out there that can really be an offensive threat. And and so we've recruited that way, um, recruited for our league, and, you know, looking forward to, to year three. You know, you never know. You know, luckily for us, you know, not to, to jumpstart, you know, talking about the Canadian tour, but we did have that opportunity. You know, so every four years you get a foreign tour, uh, you get 10 practices in the summer, and then you get to play. And and so, yeah, a lot of new faces, um, but also um, a lot of opportunity to, to build that chemistry on and off the court. And, um, you know, the one thing we've got, we've got guys that are, are really competitive right now. And, um, you know, they understand that, um, you know, they've got to you know, rely on one another to be successful um, on the court and off of it. And it's a fun group to coach, and uh, we've had a lot of success already with our foreign tour. So hoping to build up that momentum. Well, I mean, I think he's, you know, got conference player of the year potential. I mean, I really think he's that special. And, uh, you know, Javon's one of those players that can score when needed, can facilitate, and he is an absolute monster on the defensive end. Um, so we're going to put the ball in his hands a lot and, you know, give him a lot of opportunities to score and distribute. Uh, but um, he's a really talented young man. Yeah, and, and Valpo, we've recruited internationally uh, for a long time. But, uh, you know, we have Donovan Clay, um, you know, close to St. Louis out in Alton, Illinois. And really interesting story. But he was about six foot three um, at the beginning of the summer last year. And he's about six eight, six nine right now. Um, we have these rankings, you know, he was ranked, I think, the 124th best player in Illinois and finished his senior year as the third best player, first team All-State. So um, he does a lot for us. You know, he's got guard skills with, with a 6'8 frame. Um, so we're really excited about him. Uh, we've got Ben Cricky um, from Edmonton. Um, again, 6'8", shoots the heck out of the ball, um, and, and we're excited about him. And then um, two guys from uh, Denmark, Emil, um, you know, skilled big man. Uh, kind of European style, and then an experienced point guard in uh, uh, Sigurd Lorraine. So uh, got some you know, pro experience. Obviously, they weren't paid, but they played in pro leagues over there and, and played a pretty high-level competition.